Uncovering one of Oregon's longest running mysteries, the Oregon Vortex has been amusing thousands of visitors for years. It's a place where the laws of physics appear to be suspended. Quinn Local 6 reporter Cor Harlan shows us a made in Oregon mystery. It is a place Native Americans used to call forbidden ground. A place horses refuse to be ridden into. A place where brooms stand upright on their own. A place where golf balls roll uphill. Here's a physical representation of a mystery that we still haven't solved. Welcome to Gold Hill in Southern Oregon and the Oregon Vortex. A scientific freak of nature where the laws of physics seem to have gone haywire. If you'll please follow me partway up the hill, I'll give you some history about the house of mystery. In the middle of the vortex sits an old gold scaling office. Its lopsided walls and a floor accentuate some of the strange things that are going on here. The lean is actually that direction. Critics say that the sloped floor helps this broom stand straight up on its own. And while it does look like it is standing straight up, it actually isn't. It is, in fact, leaning more than seven degrees toward the center of the vortex. Now switch. And then there is the matter of strange changes in height. <laughs> I was looking at your teeth, now I'm looking at your eyes. That's crazy. Flip it around, set it back down, and still level. Standing on a level platform, two people facing each other have some height difference, but the height differential seems to change when the two people switch places. A really, really steep angle. Pay attention to your arms as you're doing this. The height changes, um, which is what is the truly astonishing thing that's happening here, the height changes happen all through the area. It's easier to see in this picture of four men lined up. They're the same height in the first picture, but flip-flop their lineup and they appear to go from shortest on the left to tallest on the right. The golf balls should move very rapidly along, uh, as they roll downhill, but they should move very slowly along the top plank. Golf balls that roll uphill? They actually move very quickly. The ball runs toward the bottom of this ramp, toward the center of the vortex, and then rolls back uphill. Physicist John Litzter came to this area here almost 100 years ago. He devoted a good portion of his life to scientifically explaining what was actually going on here. It is a fascinating place. Portland State University geologist Scott Burns, who visited the vortex himself as a kid, says the vortex is likely part illusion, but there also may be, he says, a large mineral deposit buried under the vortex that's causing increased gravitational pull. Anytime you have a huge body of something that's heavy and as dense as iron underneath or an iron bearing ore, uh, you increase the gravity. And so increased gravitational pull will affect things. <laughs> you guys ever been here before? No. Thousands of people a year come here to see these deviant gravitational forces at work. It's been a wonder here for a long time. The nut bug crazy house, as they called it in a 1938 feature in the Oregonian. Some days it's easier to do. Turning the laws of physics upside down, one standing broom handle at a time. Reporting for you in Gold Hill in Southern Oregon, Cor Harlan, Coin Local 6.